Hi everyone, and welcome and welcome back. Nice to meet ya, nice to see you again. So, I want to do a video today that is kind of a little bit more uh, about giving some, you know, love and some TLC to brands that perhaps haven't been getting it. Uh, not only brands, but maybe certain products too that I think that are maybe like little hero products that, again, you don't get uh, any kind of mention here on YouTube because they're not the newest, latest um, PR sponsored kind of kind of product. Yes, I said it. Let's uh, start with some mainstream brands that, you know, no longer really get any love uh, from, from us, um, but I still love them and I'll still pick them up. These are generally more geared towards makeup artists, so that could be another reason why, but they are easily accessible, so it's out there. But they are worth a, a note, that is for sure. The first one I'm gonna talk about, talk about is Makeup Forever. Um, Makeup Forever is one of those brands that I think is a great all-around brand, um, as well as another brand that I'm gonna talk about following it. Um, Makeup Forever do uh, foundations beautifully. Two of my favorite foundations one I think they're discontinuing called the Water Blend. A lot of people loved it. Some people hated it. Uh, they didn't like the gloopy kind of gelatinous nature of it. I know I'm not painting it in the beautiful light, but it's it was so sheer and light that it um, worked well with a lot of different skin tones. Um, perhaps if you were a little bit drier, maybe not so much, but I think it just made your skin look very um, flawless. And in that, in that, the way that Glossier's, you know, perfecting skin tint kind of does. Not gonna provide a lot of coverage, but it makes your skin look like skin with just, you know, a little bit of evening out. Um, that was one of them. My favorite one now uh, from them is the Reboot. Um, their velvet matte was nice, but a little bit heavy and a little too matte for me. Uh, the Reboot is wonderful. Uh, I think this took the place of the HD, which was also really lovely too. Uh, the Reboot does a little bit more. It's kind of like an all-around foundation in that it brightens, smooths, firms, hydrates, and evens out. Can't really speak to the firming part, to be quite honest with you, even though I have a little bit more mature skin. Um, but I can speak to the other claims, and I really love it. it uh, I have mine in the Y315. Um, and it's just stunning. I love the way my skin looks after this. Um, there's just something about it. Uh, it looks good on camera, but also looks good in real life without looking masky or cakey. If you like skin like, um, if you like skin like skin, <laughs> let's make that confusing. Uh, if you, if you appreciate skin like finishes, then you're going to love the Reboot. Next product from Makeup Forever that is uh, fairly new uh, and fairly new to my collection are the Rouge Artist Lipsticks. Um, I have it in a variety of shades. They do they do really fun shades, but they also do, you know, very normal wearable shades, but anything is wearable normal, it's depending on your perspective. One thing I don't like is the packaging. The packaging is a little bit odd, uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's fairly long, so kind of maybe hard to store, uh, but I, it goes on super easy. It's a nice cross between a satin and a matte. Um, I do like the fact they have the end uh, color matches the lipstick bullet, so very easy to pick out. Um, I have it in four different shades. Uh, it smells like Swedish berries. If you don't mind that smell, then you probably won't mind these. Um, but yes, those are lovely. The other one I don't have an example of, but maybe I'll put a picture on one of these sides, uh, is the Artist Pencils. Uh, they're like the wooden ones that you sharpen manually, uh, and those can be used all over the face, uh, whatever you need to do. One of my uh, ones, that is the Endless Cacao, those are lovely. Use it primarily as a lip pencil. Katie Jane Hughes just loves it. Uh, she, I think every video pretty much yeah. uses it. Uh, the next brand I want to talk about is Shiseido. Shiseido is another, oh, mm, another brand that I just, I want people just to love. <laughs> They're really known for their skincare, I think. That's what people associate them with. Um, and a foundation that I'm going to mention as well. Uh, they are a Japanese brand and they've had some really illustrious makeup artists as their creative director. I know Lisa Eldridge, I believe at one point in time in her career, I believe Dick Page, if I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong. And this awesome. is the Shiseido Skin Refreshing uh, Foundation. I have it in 250 Sand 
and uh, 220 linen. They're different because obviously it's summer and winter skin. But this is what it looks like. This caught on like wildfire last winter and people loved it. Uh, I'm this isn't my favorite foundation from Shiseido, but it is really, really lovely. Uh, one of my favorites I'm wearing today from them is the uh, Synchro Skin. This is before the, the because it's old packaging, you can tell. This is Synchro Skin Glow Luminizing Fluid Foundation. Um, this gives you a beautiful luminosity and um, dewiness to the skin, which I like, especially going into winter. My shade is golden. The other products I think that people are really starting to love are these blushes. I've been using this for about, uh, about 10 months now. Uh, these are the Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. I have them in three different shades. This is uh, Sayoko. Uh, I also have Aiko and then Sayura. I can't remember. Um, but this is a beautiful kind of um, reddish burnt kind of color so it's fantastic if you want that to mimic being outside in the uh, cold air it's going to give you that very healthy flush to the cheeks Ico if I can find it here on this mess of a desk Ico is a tan kind of neutral natural look one thing that's nice about those they are more matte and they need a little bit, but they will stay put. So I know uh, oily girls, maybe normal to oily, um, are always afraid of cream. I know I used to be because it didn't last on my skin. These ones do and they're just very, very natural. It doesn't take very much effort to blend them in. They don't disappear like other cream blushes that I have. Um, <coughs> I'm looking at you, Fenty. Um, they're those are fine, but not as good as these ones. These are probably one of my favorites now. Um, some micro liners, which are great for tight lining and uh, rimming the eyes and uh, just, you know, bring a little emphasis along the lash line. And these, these are Kajals. These are, let me give you the proper name for them. They're Kajal Ink Artists. Um, and they do have some fun colors, which I think sometimes um, Shiseido, that's where they lack is the color stories um but you have this blue this green this bright blue they have reds they have um um some more pinks and so forth so really good to look at um i like them they're twist up they go in the waterline stay in the waterline beautifully wow. um, next brand i want to talk about is daniel sandler daniel sandler um has been around for a while now and he's i believe based out of the uk and I love his blushes. Um, this is the watercolor liquid blush. Now, liquid blush, yeah, they're very super watery. You gotta shake them up. Um, and they're definitely not like the liquid blush that you are, that are becoming popular now. I would, they're, see, they're even more watery than, well, they're watery. So, you know, there's the serum blushes and all that. At least those are more serum <laughs> um, for lack of vocabulary. Um, these are definitely, you can hear it, they're liquid, they're, they're water, basically. The other product I have from Daniel Sandler is uh, a blush, it's a cream blush. I absolutely adore it. And when I first purchased it, I'm like, holy shit, this is small. I'm going to go through this like uh, candy. Uh, and if you know me, I love candy. Uh, but this is one of my favorite, favorite blushes. This is the watercolor cream, sorry, creme bronzer. And like, I haven't even hit pan yet. And I would wear this, and I wear this all the freaking time. It is on the warmer side, so I generally have to have, um, when I have my blonder-ish hair, uh, this works really well for me then. Um, it definitely warms up my skin and kind of goes with it a little bit better. But I do enjoy this. It's a very natural does have some iridescence in it, so it's very kind of glowy, um, has a glowiness to it, but I find it blends super well without making my skin look super textured. Um, I'm not about that life. So, Daniel Sandler, check them out. Uh, I order from his website. It's not too bad to ship to Canada, uh, to be honest with you, but I think you can get it from Look Fantastic. 
or even cult beauty might be a little easier to uh, to get shipped to Canada um, and elsewhere. So, um, so Meron um, definitely is more about cinema, makeup artist, effects, and things like that. But I do feel like they have some fantastic products that are worth uh, a mention. These are the loose pigments, and they're metallic. I have them in four different shades. Um, I have in silver, gold, rose gold, and copper. Um, these are kind of, I mention them because I know the palette from Mario is, uh, kind of contains these types of shades with a medium in it to kind of liquefy and make it molten. Well, that's what these are. I've had these now for uh, a couple of years and they're phenomenal. It's going to give you the exact kind of effect if you want it. Uh, I do believe they're probably cheaper. I bought these at a makeup artist kind of convention. So I don't know what the, uh, if I can find them, I'll link them down below, uh, with a link at, for the price. I, I don't remember. I don't think I paid more than $20, but this is a huge amount. This is 30 grams. Um, this one, I, this is five grams, which I think is more than enough, uh, as a non effects makeup artist, um, that you would need. So it's just a small version of this, which I think is definitely more affordable. I also have their Loose Pigment Precious Gems, um, which is a similar size to that, uh, but this is like an iridescent. Okay, let's talk about some drugstore stuff because I do actually do, I do actually do, I do actually have some drugstore products. Uh, with us wearing masks all the time, liquid lipsticks are, if you want to wear makeup and you want to wear lipstick, they're almost like a must. These are phenomenal and these are all from the drugstore. These are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. They also have some fun colors, which I'm like, good on ya. Um, so I have the navy, I have a black, uh, kind of a gray, gray color, purpley, and then a nice kind of warmer red. These are great. They do not like dry your lips out at all. They actually stay through eating like food. I don't get the butthole kind of look to it. Who came up with that? Who thought and said, hey, that looks like a butthole. Some other ones are from Revlon I want to talk about. These are the Colorstay uh, liners. Have the eyeliner in Jade and Sapphire, which are really pretty. I do find them a little more muted than say another brand, but they, they are really quite nice. And then this one is the Colorstay Micro. And this is a gel eyeliner. So this is great for in the waterline if you want to brighten your eyes, make them look uh, bigger. Um, I'm talking about Danessa Myricks. This is her Vision Cream Cover. It is her foundation slash con um, concealer. Uh, it's, and it's a very full coverage. Probably the reason why I don't super love this foundation. I think it's okay. I have ones that I love more. I have ones that I do not like as much. Um, I have it in the shade N4. I find hers have a leaning of yellow, even though it's a neutral. I also own a couple of other products from her. I have this, this is the Essentials Waterproof Cream Palette. It's great for contouring and bronzing, which is what I use it for, and then deepening, I believe, any kind of shade that you want. Um, her color fix is what drew me to her. Uh, she has foils that are multi-chrome. She is, uh, as of December 1st, going to have a liquid multi-chrome uh, kind of wand. But her color fixes are great. Uh, she has metallic foils and mattes. And her glazes are fantastic. Her gloss, like face gloss and all that. So they're multi-use, multi-functional. So uh, you can use them all over the face. She has beautiful primers and oils and veils is the powder kiss liquid lipstick these are phenomenal um i even enjoy the packaging they are more of a moussey kind of texture again i talk about it in another video i think people need to pay attention to these the other things i don't know they used to be core are their um their own ver their own kajals i think these are fantastic with lasting power in the waterline and around the eye I have incredibly, I don't know if I have watery, watery eyes or, you know, my eyes bug out or something. I wear contact lenses, so that could be just enough to kind of make the water line, water line for me. 
almost impossible for certain products to stay. And I find the Kajals do that wonderfully, both Shiseido and MAC. So at least I have an alternative. So I'm um, excited to play with what I have. I've just done, I just started swatching my new Juvia's palette and I'm just incredibly impressed. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy. If there's any kind of underrated products that you guys can think of within your own collection or even underrated brands, I'm like, please mention it down below. I'm always looking to find uh, some really great products that just, just aren't, that people use but don't think to mention them a lot. Um, anyway, I just want you to stay safe, stay, uh, take care and take care of, uh, take care of others. Okay. And, um, I'll see you soon. Bye.